It's hard to remember a time when more discussions centered around the ages of our political leaders. Let's face it, we have some folks that are pushing the envelope in trying to be effective leaders at advanced ages. Several of our federal leaders are more than 75 years old, including President Biden, former President Trump, Senator Mitch McConnell, and former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. The average age in the U.S. Senate is just over 65, but these folks that are on top of the leadership ladder are much older. President Biden will be 81 if reelected. President Trump, 78. McConnell's already 81, and Pelosi is 83. There are others. And while age is largely just a number, some of the effects of time cannot be ignored. On top of that, the jobs these people are doing or want to do are some of the most demanding in the world. In the world. Senator Mitt Romney saw the light and is not running for re-election. He's 76. So while the discussion on term limits is for elected officials is routinely shelved, Perhaps we need to consider an age limit for the leaders of the United States. I'm not sure what that magic number would be, but it's obvious that several of the aforementioned are past their ability to physically and cognitively carry out their jobs. It's not a condemnation on their legacies, but some of these aging leaders need to consider their next steps away from the pressures of the job. We can't afford to have our leaders not be 100%.